Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of Ansys Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a shaft which is subjected to torsion and we are going for modal and harmonic analysis. We'll start with modal analysis. The material for the shaft is by default structural steel. I'm not changing the material. You can change the material as per the requirement. I'll directly go to geometry, right click, new design modular geometry. Units, I'll choose millimeter, XY, look at. I'll go to sketching, I'll choose circle. I'll give it dimension. See the diameter is 25. I'll extrude it for say 300 mm. Generate. So this is the geometry. Next I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to mesh, insert method, I'll choose the whole body, method I'll choose tetrahedrons, again I'll go to mesh and insert sizing for the entire body, the element size by default is 15.057, let me give it to 5mm and update the mesh. Next, I'll go to analysis settings and insert fix support. On one end, I'll apply fix support. Next, I'll go to solution and solve. You can see six modes are created. I'll select all and create mode shape results. I'll solve it again. This is the natural frequency of a shaft. You can see that this is a shaft of a fan. When you don't switch on the fan or you're not giving a forced vibration, it's in a static state. And this is the frequency with which it can vibrate in case it encounters some motion to it. So this is the first natural frequency, which is 196.09 Hertz. This is the second natural frequency, 196.1. This is the third one, 1201.2 hertz. The fourth one is 1201.3 hertz. Fifth one is 2608.8 hertz. And this is the sixth one, that is 3251.5 hertz. So these are the six modes which we have created using modal analysis. These are the six natural frequencies of the body. You can create more by going to analysis settings and changing the maximum modes to 10, 15, whatever you want to see. I'll leave it to six. Next, we will go to harmonic response and drag it over the solution of modal analysis. Then I'll double click on setup. First we'll go to analysis settings and we have to give the range. The last value was 3251. So let me give the value as 3500 hertz. And the initial frequency was 196. So I'll leave it to 0 or you can bring it down to 100 say. I'll leave it to 100. Number of intervals, say it is 40. Also, I want to insert a moment over here. So, insert moment. I'll change vector to component. You can see here, it is along the z-axis that I'm going to apply the moment. So, here I'll write down minus 3000 Newton mm. 
you can check the direction over here it is going clockwise if you don't give the negative sign it will go anti clockwise that's also fine it doesn't really matter which direction you give i am using clockwise direction next i'll go to solution and insert frequency response deformation i need to select the entire geometry also i want to see the result about the z axis because that's the axis about which i have applied the moment over the body so i'll go to solution and solve you can see here this is the frequency response plot that i have obtained so this is the point where i am obtaining resonance now you can see here i am seeing two points and i'm not sure if they are at the same level so what i'm going to do is i am going to go to analysis settings and here there is something called as cluster results i will change this to yes cluster number it is asking so i'm going to give this as 10 as soon as i give this cluster number you must have seen here to the right i can see a message the first message is very important the system is solved without damping this may cause very large harmonic response around natural frequencies due to resonance which means i need to give some damping coefficient here so that my system can come down to a rest state otherwise it will show very high resonance so you'll go to analysis settings and here in damping solution constant damping ratio it is zero right now i'll change it to 0.02 next i'll go to solution and solve you can see here the points have been shown at this zone where you are getting a lot of resonance now i want to know what is the point at which i am getting the resonance so here you can check the frequency is 2607.7 hertz that is over here and the amplitude is also shown so the value 2607.7 is important to us i'll go to frequency response right click create contour result is what i have created this is the directional deformation which we are going to get and you can see the frequency over here is also 2607.7 hertz next i'll go and insert equivalent stress frequency i'm going to write down 2607.7 hertz next i'll go to solution and solve this was the frequency response obtained this is the directional deformation for that frequency you can read here the frequency value is 2607.7 hertz you can check in this table at 2607.7 hertz the phase angle is minus 88 and again you can see that value reflecting here in sweeping phase it is 88.8 degree for directional deformation when you go to equivalent stress the frequency is 2607.7 hertz at this value of frequency you need to know where is the stress maximum on the body and how much is the stress so that you can understand what would be the life of this object and where the fatigue rupture can also happen because it's a sinusoidal loading over the body and it's of cyclic type now here one more thing that you can insert if you observe is the fatigue tool we have already gone through the fatigue analysis so we can just insert life and the safety factor if you recollect the fatigue analysis in that we required a material wherein alternating stress was defined like structural steel and then we were applying this type of dynamic load and checking the life so let's see the life here it is 1 into 10 raised to 6 cycles and if you check the safety factor it is greater than 15 
your body is actually safe it is not going to rupture that fast so you can also use fatigue tool over here to know what is the life of this body so fatigue analysis is also something that can be added along with modal and harmonic response because fatigue analysis is also for a dynamic type of loading like harmonic response so i hope you have understood this process for solving of harmonic response for a shaft which is subjected to torque if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you